Hi guys, we're going to do a little bit of work on the earth element which is now in the change of season in Chinese medicine. The earth element is the spleen and the stomach. The spleen releases antibodies to kill off virus and bacteria and it also controls our mucus to the thickness or the thinness and to the change we're going through. So the spleen's working quite strongly now because when we move from a hot season to a cold season, we do tend to get colds. So we're gonna give some energy to the spleen and help balance it so that we can help keep this mucus controlled. And then we're moving into autumn, which is the air element, the lungs and the colon. So we're gonna strengthen our lungs a little and um, hopefully help with everything that's going on in society right now. So the spleen can make us feel anxious and worried, or it can make us feel confident and strong and energized. Now with this, when the liver's getting overworked and we're getting anxious, then the, the, the spleen gets overworked and we're getting anxious, then the liver starts to get run down. So instead of feeling light and enthusiastic, which the liver should make us feel, we begin to get lethargic and depressed. So balancing these two out will give us a nice relaxed confidence, but also help to build our immune, the liver cleanses the body, the spleen's releasing the antibodies, the lungs need to breathe, and with the lungs go the colon because the mucus is moving through the whole digestive tract as well. So we're just gonna start by using the sound hook, which is the sound of the earth element, and we're gonna start to push our heels into the ground and say, hook, hook. Oh, relax the back of the neck, let it be long so you're not jarring into the back of the neck. Let the shoulders shake around. Oh, press the heels to the floor, earth element. We want to become grounded. You can bring the arms up in the air, helps the lungs a little bit more as soon as you're working the arms. Oh, 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 oh. This allows all the lymphatic tissues to allow the cells and everything to drain so we can get it out of our system. Oh, So you might just want to shake around if it's getting too much for you. Still using the sound hoof or just bounce without slamming the heels. You can keep the calves going, keep going. Shoulders relax, neck relax, belly relax. to the hara, three fingers below the navel, three fingers in, toes point to the front. Just breathe deep into the hara, feel the belly expand on the in-breath. Exhale through the mouth, let all the excess energy release. Get the breath deep into the belly so you're working the diaphragm, working deep into the lungs. Two more breaths. Try to breathe in and out the nose now. And then we're going to rub up on our kidneys, just upwards, because kidneys make a lot of our prana, our chi. And the stronger our energy body is, the chi, the prana, the more resilient we become. So just rubbing upwards. Then making a hollow cotton fist, just give the lungs a little pummel 
Ah. And rub off again. Give the lungs a little pummel. Ah. And one more time, rubbing up. Give the kidneys a little pummel. Ah. Then the knees a little inhale, gather the energy to the throat, hold the breath in. Imagine taking that energy down to the heart, three fingers below, bring some more energy from the base. Give the liver, the right rib cage, a gentle squeeze. Release the liver, release the compression that holds. Straighten the legs, drop the shoulders, lengthen the neck, breathe. We'll wait for the energy to rise. Inhale, gather the energy to the throat again. Hold the breath in. Imagine taking that energy and the breath down to the higher. Leave more energy from the base to meet there. Give the lower left rib a little squeeze. Release the lower left rib. Release below the navel. Drop the shoulders. Straighten the legs. Open the neck and breathe. And then we're going to do a little lung qigong. So we'll do bow and arrow stance. Turn the toes to the front, bend the knees. Make sure you can see the big toes from the inside of your knees so you're not putting pressure into the knees. Make sure you're not sticking the ribs and the bottom out. Drop the bottom down, drop back through the ribs. As if you're about to sit on a stool that's just below you. Okay, and then inhale, raise the right arm to shoulder height. Exhale, bring that right arm across the body. Move in time with your breath. Inhale, the left pointer finger comes up, focusing on the pointer finger. Pull the bow back with the right hand. Feel how taut it is. Exhale, release the bow. Left hand swings across the body. At the end of the out breath, your hand should be across the body. Inhale, the left arm's pulling the taut bow back. Right fingernail of the pointer finger is where your focus is. Shoulders are down. Exhale, left hand drops, right hand swings across the body. Inhale, the left arm comes up, right arm's pulling back the bow. Keep the shoulders down, open the lungs and the heart. Exhale, drop the right hand, left hand swings across the body. Inhale, pulling the bow back with the left hand. Feel how strong it is. And then release it. Your hand serves you all day long. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, release. Inhale, pulling the bow back. Exhale, drop both hands down. Walk the feet in. Inhale, gather the energy to the throat. Bend the knees a little. Take the energy down to the hara. Bring more energy from the base. Squeeze the chest a little. Relax the chest. Relax the compression and breathe. Directing more energy to the organs so they can get stronger. This is one of my favorite qigongs, this lung qigong. So inhale, turn to your left, let the arms float up to shoulder height. Move through that energy and physique and exhale, bring the hands to the front. Inhale, turn to your right, bring the arms up next to the ears. Exhale, drift back, moving through that fluid and energy body. Turn to the front, you should be leaning to your left. Inhale, gather the energy to the heart. Exhale, reach up and over to your left. Energy releases from the hara beyond the extremities. Drop to your left. Inhale, the front of the right lung, the side of the right lung, just through the chest as you bend, the back of the left right lung. Exhale, push behind. Inhale to the left arms to shoulder height. Exhale, arms float down. Try to keep the hips to the front. So now pull the left hip back as you turn to the right. Exhale, drift back, right lung and ascending colon opening, turn to the front. Inhale, gather the energy to the hurry, should be leaning to your left. 
exhale, release the energy beyond the heart, beyond the extremities, release. Drifting to your left, inhale, front of the right lung, side of the right lung, back of the right lung. Exhale. Inhale to the left, one more time. Exhale, down to the front. Inhale to the right, arms touch the ears. Exhale, drift back. Turn to the front, you should be leaning to the left. Inhale, gather the energy to the hara. Reach up and over to your left. Exhale, release beyond the extremities. Inhale, front of the right lung, side of the right lung, back of the right lung, exhale. Moving to the left side, inhale, turn to the right, arms to shoulder height. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale to the left, arms touch the ears, pull that right hip back, hips to the front. Exhale, drift back, left lung, descending colon, turn to the front, you should be leaning to your right. Inhale, gather the energy to the hara. Exhale, reach up and over to your right, beyond the extremities, let it go. Breathing into the front of the left lung, the side of the left lung, back of the left lung. So just coming down through the chest and the lower ribs, exhale, push behind. Turn to the right, arms float up like bird wings. Exhale, come down to the front. Inhale, arms touch the ears, reach up. Exhale, drift back. Turn to the front, inhale, gather the energy to the hara. Exhale, release from the hara beyond the extremities. Reach over to your right. Inhale, drop to the right, front, side and back of the lung. Exhale. Last time. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the front. Inhale to the left, touch the ears with the arms. Exhale, drift back. Turn to the front, inhale, gather the energy to the hara. Exhale, reach up and over to your right. Inhale, all the way through. Exhale, release. Inhale, both the lungs. Come up on the toes. Exhale, come down on the heels. By the time the hands are at shoulder height and just bend the knees slightly, cross the arms in front. Inhale, come up on the toes once the hands are at the shoulder height. Exhale, come down on the heels. By the time the hands are at shoulder height, bend the knees a little cross. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees a little. Inhale, gather the energy to the throat. Hold the breath in, take the breath down to the hara. Lift from the base, bring more energy to the hara. Rock around the lower back into the kidneys. And straighten the legs, drop the shoulders, lengthen the back of the neck and breathe. And then just come into the front of the mats. Inhale, let the wrists float up. Exhale, take one step back, toes pointing to the front, push behind, back legs straight, front legs bent. Inhale, bring the arms up next to the ears, then lift, bend through the lower ribs. So you're working through the spleen, the stomach, liver. Exhale, come forward and bring your hands to the floor. If you can straighten the front legs, straighten it. Make sure the back legs straight. Drop the head, take a full breath from the base of the spine to the crown of the head and exhale. Then take another step back with your back leg as you inhale, lift the chest and exhale, drop your back knee to the floor. Left hand rests on your left thigh. Inhale, right arm comes across the body as you open through the lung again. And then if you can, exhale, you're gonna bring your hand to your buttock your thigh, your calf, or even your heel. Inhale, left arm comes over, drop the left chest to the center of the room as much as you can, centering the shoulders. And then exhale, you're gonna windmill the arms over, right arm's gonna go around the outside of the right leg, and twist, look over the left shoulder, breathe. Bring all the focus into your solar plexus, and see a bright yellow sun burning fire. Energy, 
and allow the sun to give you that strength, that confidence, that immune boosting power. Inhale, come to the front. Exhale, come down, tuck the back toes under. Inhale, lift the back knee so you're into a lunge. Hold and breathe. Keep the left hand next to the little toe. Inhale, take the right arm up to the sky as you twist the right chest to the sky. And exhale, drop the arm down behind you, bring it back to the floor, bring the knee down. Reach out with the right arm as far as you can, drag the right leg up and drop the right hip to the floor. Close the left lung with wrapping that arm around the left knee, close the left nostril, breathe up through the right side of your body. Lift the shoulder through the shoulder, roll the shoulder back, tilt the head slightly to the left so you're opening from the lymph filters to the lymph glands. Breathe up through the organs, just not, not just the tight muscles. So as you inhale, coming up through the ovaries, testes, ascending colon, liver, right lung, right kidney. The inhale, turn to the front. Tuck the back toes under, straighten the back leg, straighten the front leg as much as you can. Drop the head down. Bring both hands next to the big toe on the big toe side. Now take that front leg out, inhale, take it out to the side and then cross it as far past your back leg as you can. Land it, roll the chest up to the sky and say, oh. Inhale. Exhale, come down the same way you came up, but keep the legs crossed. Bring the right hip down, the right hand down. Lift the chest, look over the right shoulder. The spleen loves twists and side bends. Inhale, bring the leg back around. Exhale, come back to pose the child. We're going to come through to a striking cobra. So as you inhale, reach out as far as you can. Bend the elbows, pull the body forward, chest down, bottom up. Bring the chest up, just bend through the lower ribs. Bring the shoulders down back, lengthen the back of the neck. So don't be all scrunched up in the shoulders. Open, open the thymus gland in the center of the chest, another immune boosting gland. And just come onto the belly. So really squeeze through those lower ribs. Not physically, just by the bend. Inhale, push the tongue out, release the toxin. <sighs> Inhale the cat, exhale, sit back to pose of the child. Inhale, roll up through the spine, coming up to sitting, but lift your bottom off the floor and gather the energy to the throat. Hold the breath in, take the energy down to the hara, sit all the way down, relax, release and breathe. If you can't sit all the way down because you have knee problems, just come up on the knees. The right side helps to cleanse our body. So see a bright white light in the center of the head and see that shine through your body, cleansing your body. It's your spirit energy. Breathe into that white light and resonate a high pitch sound there to resonate through the whole body, lifting your spirit, cleansing your body. and feel your body perfectly clean. Come up on the knees and come into cat stance, moving through the middle now, we're gonna nourish the body through the glands. Inhale, look up, so we'll work that spleen energy again, cat cow pose, so roll the shoulders back. Exhale, curl the tail under, ripple up through the spine to the top of the solar plexus, between the apex of the lower ribs, right at the root of the spleen there, the adrenal glands. Inhale, release, look up. Also helping to relax the shoulders, the neck, the spine. Exhale, curl the tail under all the way to the solar plexus, push through. Inhale, release, look up. Exhale, we're gonna ripple all the way to the crown of the head, bring the weight to the knees, curl the tail under. Imagine you're pushing out through each vertebra through the back. Rippling all the way up through the spine, beyond the solar plexus to the chest. Drop the chest, start to lengthen the back of the neck. 
push from the center of the forehead to the center of the head, release out the crown of the head. So just create a snake ripple through the body. One more. And then sit back on the heels or between the heels. We're going to come into a camel pose now. So it's working the liver, the spleen, the solar plexus, where that energy mixes the lungs. So if you're sitting between your heels, you're going to put your hands on your feet. If you can't do that, you might even need a cushion under your knees. You're going to sit on your feet and tilt, lean back on the ground with your hands. And then we're going to inhale, curl the tail under, Push up through the ribs, roll the chest back. Don't drop the head right back. Don't scrunch the back of the neck and just extend and open. If you're sitting in between your feet, you're going to curl the tail under. Try not to push with your hands. Coming into camel that way. And then exhale, just sit back down. Come forward to pose the child. Take a breath. And again, push the bottom to the heels. So you might be rippling up or you might be coming up on your knees. Push up. And then see if you can, and then exhale, come back down and come forward. Pose of the child. We're gonna do it one more time. So if you are sitting in between the feet, inhale, open the knees a little, roll up. Push through, we're gonna hold a little bit now and let the lungs open. Thymus gland boosting immune, spleen squeezing into the spleen boosting immune, liver opening, the fire chakra opening, kills bacteria and virus. Lungs opening, heart opening, open your heart to the universe. Imagine the sun shining into your internal sun at the solar plexus and see your internal sun radiant and radiating thousands of rays of healing golden energy through your body. And then see if you can inhale, push up. Both hands have to come up at once. Stay in your center. Exhale, come down. Come down to pose of the child. Bring the hands out in front. Ripple up to plank on the knees through the spine. Tuck the toes under, press up to down dog. Walk the feet up to the hands and then inhale, roll up to standing. Exhale, push back. Okay, we've got to work the other side of the body. That's the soul energy. So let's first inhale, gather the energy for the soul. Hold the breath in, take it down to the hara, lift from the base, hold. Hold above, of, and in front of the heart, the thymus. Then straighten the legs, drop the shoulders, reach out the crown and breathe. Visualize and feel yourself in perfect health. Perfect health. My spleen is strong. My spleen is working perfectly. My liver is strong. My liver is working perfectly. My lungs are clear. My lungs are strong. My lungs are working perfectly. <sighs> now we move to the left, strengthening that spleen energy and strengthening the body. Inhale, let the wrist float up to shoulder height, bend the knees. Exhale, left leg steps back, just one step, toes pointing to the front. Front leg bent, back leg straight. Inhale, lunge a little more, bring the arms to the ears. And then lift up and back. Feel that bend through the lower ribs. Feel the solar plexus opening. And then exhale, coming forward and down. If you can straighten the front leg, once your hands touch the floor, straighten it. It doesn't matter if it's bent. Try to keep the back leg bent. Drop the head, release the neck completely. Inhale from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Exhale, relax. Inhale, 
Exhale, bend the front leg, step the back leg another step back, bring the knee to the floor. Rest the right hand onto the right thigh. Inhale, left arm comes across the body. And as you exhale, drop the hand where you can reach. Buttock, thigh, calf, heel. Inhale, right arm comes back, drop the right shoulder down. Try to center the chest. Windmilling the arms, exhale, coming around. Left arm over the outside of the right leg. Twist, focus at the solar plexus. Keep breathing, feel your strength. Inhale to the front. Exhale, tuck the back toes under, straighten the back leg. Then reach the left arm forward, drop down to your left hip. Bring the top foot as close to your hip as you can, straighten the bottom leg, push into that right foot. Lift the left sh shoulder and roll it back. Drop the right ear toward the right shoulder a little so you're opening the lymph filters to the glands. Wrap the right arm around the right leg, closing the right lung, close the right nostril. Breathe out from your big toe all the way through every part of the left side of your body, right to the top of the left shoulder, the top of the left lung. And feel how strong your immune system is. One more breath. Exhale, turn to the front again. Tuck the back toes under, straighten the back leg, straighten the front leg as much as you can. Doesn't matter if it's bent. Drop the head, let the neck release. Shake the head a little. Bring both hands on the big toe side of your front foot. And then that front foot's going to spin out as you inhale. Cross it as far past the back leg as you can, land the foot. <sighs> Inhale, roll the ribs up to the sky, right arm comes off, push the hips up and say da da. <laughs> Inhale, bring the hip down, bring the hand down. Exhale, look up and over the left shoulder and breathe. Keep breathing. Inhale, bring that right leg back around. Exhale, come back to pose of the child. Sit back in pose of the child. Inhale, coming through to a cobra. So stretch the arms out, chest down, bottom up. Inhale, come forward. Keep the, the belly on the ground. Just lift the lower ribs. Tongue out, press the toxins out of your body. <sighs> and hold there, just let the spleen open. Draw the chin in a little. Keep the elbows in, shoulders down and back, back of the neck long and open. And then exhale, come down. Inhale, coming up into cat. Exhale, sit back to pose of the child. Inhale, roll up to sitting, lift the bottom off the heels, gather the energy to the throat. Holding the breath in, come down halfway, take the energy down to the hara. Holding the thymus above and in front of the heart. Now holding the center of the head. Drop the bottom to the heels. Relax and breathe. And feel the strength of your immune system. Feel how strong your body is. Inhale, make the sound. <sighs> Take it really low. <sighs> Visualize your immune system strong, your lungs clear and strong and healthy, the liver strong. And see your aura clear, 
bright white light and see the aura with a protective layer around it. That energy field around your body. And then come forward, just lie on your mat. Interlace the fingers behind your back, squeeze the legs together. Palms facing toward your head, straighten the arms, pull the shoulders away from the ears, top of the forehead on the floor. Squeeze the legs together, press the hips and the pubic bone into the ground as you exhale. Inhale, lift the head and the chest, the arms and the legs. Keep the back of the neck long. Squeezing into the whole spine, solar plexus opening, lungs opening, squeezing into the spleen, the back of the liver. Exhale, come down, release the hands, turn your head to the left. Take the hands out to shoulder height, palms down, turn the head to the right. Inhale, lift the right leg, keep the hip on the floor and bend the foot to the bottom. And then exhale, lift the hip, roll the right leg behind you, land the sole of the foot on the floor, take the knee up to the sky. You may feel it in the hip or the shoulder or nowhere or both. Relax the left glute. Liver's opening now as you squeeze into the spleen in the lower left rib. Inhale, bring the leg back around, land the hip to the floor. Exhale, straighten the leg. Turn the head to the left. Inhale, take the left leg up, keep the hip down. Bend the foot to the bottom and then exhale, take the left foot behind you, cross right over. Take the knee up to the sky. Inhale, keep the leg bent, bring the hip back to the floor. Exhale, straighten the leg, bring the leg down. Bring the hands next to the breast, elbows in nice and close. Inhale, come up to cat. Exhale, just take a few breaths in, pose the child. Walk the hands as far forward as you can, elbows off the floor. Feel the body stretching. Inhale as you expand into your chest. Exhale, press the heels closer into the bottom. Again, if this is too much for your knees, you can put a cushion into the backs of the knees. Arms are off the floor. Inhale, expand into the chest. Exhale, press the bottom to the heels. Roll the armpits in toward the cheeks, shoulders away from the ears, armpits opening. And then inhale, just come up to cat stance, tuck the toes under, press up to down dog. And we're just going to do some straight arm push up. So we're working the points of the lungs at the top of the shoulder blades. So just push up through the shoulders. No bending the arms, just going up and down. Exhale, come down on the knees and just come laying into Shavasana, so relaxation pose. Lying back, put a bolster under your knees if you need to, if it hurts your lower back when you lie, or you can open your feet and roll the knees in. And just relax your body now, coming into a nice relaxation pose. Soften the whole body. Soften the whole body, let it relax. Bring the awareness to the solar plexus. 
see that bright yellow sun. Let it radiate from the solar plexus, all those rays moving through the thousands of meridians through your body, healing you, energizing you, giving you a relaxed confidence. Oh. Picture yourself in perfect health. Feel that your immune system is really strong. Feel that your lungs are perfectly clear, strong and energized. Feel your mucosa lining perfect. Not too thick, not too thin, absolutely perfect. Namaste.